In today's video, we're talking about the color grading tools in Unreal Engine 5. Now, I'm gonna confess straight up, I do not use this 95% of the time for all of my pre-rendered work, as in I'm rendering a commercial, I'm spitting it out so I can create something and finish it in DaVinci Resolve or After Effects or something like that. But if you ever need to color grade in Unreal, this is how you would do that. You would go into your post-process volume, you'd make sure that your infinite extend unbound is checked, and if you can't find that, you can go I, and B or UNB and check that. And then you can clear that search, scroll down to your color grading settings, and you can start adjusting things as you need. Now, the most important things that I have generally worked with using these settings are gonna be our global, our shadows, midtones, and highlights, and we can adjust things in each category. I'm not gonna give you a color grading tutorial, but this is basically what the tool does. If we select the temperature type and the temp, we can basically make our image more orange or more blue and really adjust the, the coolness or the warmth of the shot. We can also adjust this with color temperature right here, but on average, I don't use this. Instead, I would adjust my lighting to get the vibe that I need. Same thing with global saturation. Sometimes I will just want to make a shot black and white, for example, and you could do this in post, but if you wanted to do this in here, in your global, you can. Just like other color grading tools, you can go in and adjust your contrast. So we can go in, select a value, and then just increase this value or decrease this value and change the look of our contrast, make it more poppy, so to speak. You can go to your gamma and you can adjust your lift gamma gain to give you a different look and you can change the position of this little dot to change colors of certain parts of our image. So the lift gamma and gain very similar to DaVinci Resolve lift gamma gain is our kind of like our shadows, our midtones and our highlights. And if we're doing our gamma, that's going to be kind of like our midtones and we're going to make everything just in general in the midtones a little bit more red. If I just double click on, or just hit the little button right there and undo that. Same thing here. We can go to our offset and just increase our exposure, decrease our exposure, etc., etc. Now here's the thing about the color grading tools in Unreal that I don't like. If I look at this offset, it looks really washed out now versus if I jump over to Unreal and I reset this grade, I don't need this. I just go in here and I go to my offset I'm getting a little bit of a different effect. It's changing the way this curve is manipulated. I don't know what's happening on the back end with super advanced color science things, but what I'm trying to say is that if you ever needed to do color grading tools in Unreal Engine, you can with these tools, but I personally don't recommend it and I don't use it all that much. Now, the reason why I don't recommend using these color grading tools a lot of the time is because if you have a giant scene or a giant project with multiple cameras, multiple lights, multiple render engines, etc., etc., and you're trying to get a cohesive look across all of them and you're doing all of your color grading here, let's say the creative director comes back with a change or you're a solo artist and you're trying to do a bunch of shots and you're like, oh wait, this one doesn't match and now I have to go back and open up Unreal versus it might just be fast to go in, go into a node and be like, all right, well, for this shot, let's say hypothetically it was more green or more magenta than it needed to be, I can go in and change that as I need to in my color grading software. What I'm trying to say is that it's important to understand the pipeline and the workflow. And sometimes doing your color grading in render might be valuable if you're trying to do stuff super quick or you're a hobbyist just doing some cool art in unreal engine but if it's going to end up taking more time to adjust the color because you have to re-render stuff versus just adjusting a single node in davinci then it is valuable to separate the color grading tools between Unreal and color grading. Use Unreal what it's meant for, use DaVinci for what it's meant for. Now let's say hypothetically you do want to do a little bit more color grading advanced things in Unreal Engine. Outside of all of these menus that you do have to dive into, there is the miscellaneous section. And I have used this blue correction a lot and it can really help adjust blue tints in Unreal Engine. So I have used this on professional projects to try and help with the way shadows are rendered using Unreal. And another thing that's worth addressing is this LUT ability. You can add LUTs 
into Unreal Engine from the marketplace and add it to your scene. Granted, I don't use LUTs all that much in Unreal, but you can use LUTs if you want to, and you can increase or decrease the intensity. Now, my biggest issue with using LUTs in Unreal is that, let's say hypothetically, I have a bunch of LUTs that I've purchased online from other people, or I have some free LUTs that I've downloaded from other cinematographers, photographers, etc. I cannot bring these cube files, these LUTs, into Unreal Engine. I'm gonna get the big fat failed to import over here. And that's because if I go to the Epic Games launcher and I go to the marketplace, and I go to search and I type in LUT, we're gonna see all these other LUTs that have been created using Unreal Engine tools and you have to pay money. It's like, dude, I already bought all these other LUTs from these other packages. Oh, that's It's just frustrating to me. So that is just a, a limitation of Unreal and it is not, the worst limitation, if you needed to do something in engine, then you would use these LUTs. But for someone who makes commercials and client work and stuff and personal projects and short films, I want to do my LUTs and color grading in DaVinci and that is what I do most of the time. So these color grading tools in Unreal Engine can be valuable and if you need to do real-time experiences, sure, you can use them. They can get you exactly where you need. It's a little bit more cumbersome in my opinion because there's more menus to dive into but you can adjust it if you want to. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that as well. And I will leave you with a final tip, and that is to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you'll make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.